Congressman Pat Fallon is Republican from Texas and joins me now. Congressman, given your druthers, would you kill all these spending packages? Yes. If you handed me a magic wand, Stuart, made me king for the day, I absolutely would. But it's not likely, I mean, is it? No, it's not. I mean, look at the inflation. When you inject trillions of dollars into the economy, they're, they're claiming that inflation is at 5.4 percent. But everything that we actually need fuels up 42 percent, um, used cars, 24 percent, homes, depending on where you live in the country, somewhere between 13 and 20 percent. And Stuart, bacon. Bacon is up 19 percent. That is patently un-American. Well, are you making and, the case that uh, this uh, trillions in spending will make that uh, that inflation worse? Is that your argument? Absolutely. I think it's going to aggravate it. I think uh, we did the, the, the worst is yet to come, quite frankly. Do you, what about the, the, the roads and bridges part of the first infrastructure plan? There's general consensus that we need that little bit, maybe, you know, a couple of hundred billion. Would you go for just agreed. that? Yes. Yeah, agreed. I think that's uh, across the board, regionally and ideological uh, lines, that is something that we absolutely need because that's real infrastructure. Even rural broadband Internet would be infrastructure as well. But all these other claims that they're making, uh, yeah, basically, if it's a socialist wish list, they're converting it into um, the, the, some sort of infrastructure. Well, do definition. you think um, the Republicans could pay a political price if these, this spending is, is, does, is washed away? Because, I mean, a lot of people would like some help with child care or with pre-K education. And if you're denying it to them, they'll come run down and uh, vote against you. Well, I think that, quite frankly, Stuart, you know, inflation is a tax on all of us. And we're seeing that. We, we can't inject trillions of dollars. We have to do this responsibly. And it seems to me that the Republicans are only the, the only adults in the room that when it, when it comes to this. We are already a deficit and debtor nation. And I don't want to increase it to, to you know, I have young children. And that worries me quite a bit. And I understand that when God, the government hands something out, people get used to it mm -hmm. and they expect it. But we have got to be rational here moving forward.